When I was doing my last firing, at the end of that firing, I was getting an error message on my Bartlett controller. Yeah, instead of flashing uh, what you would normally see, it was flashing fail, F-A-I-L. Now that can either mean that your thermocouple has failed or the control board inside of uh, this controller has failed. Now how do you uh, tell whether you're going to spend $45 or $250? The first thing you do is unplug your kiln. Throw the breaker, unplug it, make sure when you turn this on nothing happens. Make absolutely sure you don't have voltage to this sucker. Then you take out these four screws off the face okay now that you have all four of these screws off you just take this front panel it's kind of a tight fit you roll it down like this let me get in closer here and you'll see right here you'll see right here are two wires that are going to a yellow and a red terminal right here. My particular kiln has three heaters but only one uh, control. You'll see there's, an, there's six terminals here enough to control separately three different zones but in uh, my particular case this center one controls a single relay that turns all the zones on and off so what you do is you disconnect your thermocouple and then you take a small piece of wire like this where are you right here a little loop of wire and you put it between those two terminals and tighten it down. You put your panel back in place, secure it all down, and then plug it back in and turn it on. And what you should be reading is the room temperature. If you're not reading the room temperature and it's still saying fail, then you have to buy a new one of these control boards. If you're reading the room temperature, then you just need a new thermocouple. Uh, right from Olympic, this cost me $45 for the new thermocouple. It uh, was actually larger in diameter than the original one, and I had to take a drill and go through the fire brick and open the hole up just slightly so that the new one would slide in there. I wired it back up again, put it back together, and it worked no problem. So that's what you do if your Bartlett controller says fail. I hope that helps somebody.